Burundi's ruling party Youth League is forcing citizens to donate money to fund next year's election, according to a Human Rights Watch report released on Friday. Fears of abuses and renewed violence appears to be growing ahead of the May 2020 vote. In its report, Human Rights Watch revealed that Youth League members are extorting citizens for cash and food, ranging in value from $1 to more than $500, to finance the next year's poll. The government announced in 2017 it would collect, quote, voluntary contributions from citizens in several ways, including as deductions from civil servants and other public worker salaries. The report also found that for years, the Ibonera Kure, the ruling party's youth wing, often used violence, intimidation, and road checkpoints to collect funds. And for more on this story, I'm joined live from Vermont by Louise Mudge, the Central Africa Director for Human Rights Watch. Louise, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. Now, what were some of the major findings from your investigations? Well, this report documents uh, abuses linked to contributions to next year's uh, elections in Burundi. These will be a general election, um, but they will also have the presidential vote. Uh, this is a contentious vote. Your viewers might remember in 2015, the current president, Pierre Nkurunziza, won uh, an election that was considered very controversial. He was the only candidate uh, because he had a new term. This time around, there's been serious abuses coming up to this vote, and the government has decided to force uh, its own people uh, to pay for this vote. And this, this is being driven by and managed by outside the capital, by the Mbonarakuri. This is a youth league tied uh, to the ruling party, the party of Pierre Nkurunziza. Um, and this is a youth league that has absolutely no authority, no mandate uh, to be exerting pressure and to be coercing people to pay uh, for what is a, a state project. So, Louise, uh, Pierre Nkurunziza is now said to have uh, told the media there that he is not going to be running again. So what do you foresee in the May 2020 presidential election? Well, I think it's important to note that if Nkurunziza may not run again. He may very well. This is uh, presidents in the region, such as Museveni, such as Kagame, have said in the past that they're not going to run again, and then they turn, turn around and change their minds, and they do. Um, but. It doesn't really matter if Nkurunziza runs. What we're seeing now is the complete political control um, of this political space by the CNDD, FTD, the ruling party. Um, so while I the individual himself, even if he does not run, I have absolutely no doubt, and we at HRW have no doubt, that the CNDD, FTD will really fight to control that space. I think what's worrying to us is that the CNDD, FTD, the ruling party, is now looking more to these youth militias, uh, they're looking more to the Mbonarakuri uh, to be their enforcers rather than allowing uh, state agents with a mandate to to have security, uh, to control space, uh, who, who have the ability to coerce people under the government, under the Constitution, mm -hmm. such as the police, such as the army. We're seeing that's, them take mu much more of a backseat and the Mbonarakuri taking much more of a, a leading role. Now, uh, I just learned a few minutes ago that Human Rights Minister in Burundi, Martin Nviabandi, has dismissed human rights findings on this report. What's your response? My response is this to the minister. My response would be this to the entire government of Burundi. You can dismiss this, but please just let us in. Let us in to do our work or let the UN in. Let me remind your viewers that the UN human rights body, OHCHR, its office was closed down earlier this year. There's a commission of in inquiry on the situation in Burundi mandated by the human rights body at the UN. It's in its third year of running. To date, they've never actually put a, 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 fi a finger or a toe on the soil of Burundi. There's an ICC uh, I investigation into the situation in Burundi, into crimes that were committed in 2015, um, and the ICC is not allowed into Burundi. Burundi continues to deny that anything is happening, while simultaneously they don't let any type of watchdog group or any type of independent independent body, whether right. it be an NGO uh, Louise, or whether it be you. the UN, into, their, right. into there. Thank you thank very you. much for your perspective on what's going on in Burundi. Luis Marge is the Human thank Rights you. Watch as Central Africa Director.